going on y'all Michael here today with another Bears video talking about Justin Fields now let me get into it but always like favorite and subscribe for more videos like this in the near future so Justin Fields is showing flashes but I want to tell I want to keep in mind to dumb Bears fans that want to say the season's over be certain it is preseason Justin Fields is throwing to receivers that are probably not going to make the team maybe Rondy Adams will make the team but he's not but none of these players that he's throwing to are going to make the cut for the team okay we haven't seen what Justin Fields can do with Al Robinson, with a Darnell Mooney, with a Marquise Goodwin, with a Cole Komet as his tight end, and with a David Montgomery and Damian Williams. And now let me get to these Bears fans that want him to like sit behind Andy Dawn for a couple games. You know what? You're probably right. Andy Dalton's going to be the week one starter. But if it was up to me, first of all, I would have never signed Andy Dalton in the first place. I would have just said, we're keeping Nick Foles. And when we're, we draft one of these Mac Jones, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, or Kyle Task, or Kendall Mott, or Davis Mims, we'll see what the competition brings. It would be Nick Foles versus a rookie quarterback. Okay, I'll roll with that. Okay, let me, let me be honest with you, Bears fans that want to give Andy Dalton a chance. Well, let me tell you something. The same crap that he had in Dallas will not apply to Chicago. Okay, he had Amari Cooper, he had Michael Gallup, and he had... What's that other dude's name? Uh, who's that? Uh, some Cowboys fan, remind me. Oh yeah, yeah, he had he had C.D. Lamb. Yeah, yeah. He had he had those three weapons and some tight end like he his tight like the Dallas had a high powered offense and he couldn't prosper with it, but he didn't have an offensive line. But oh, he didn't have a defense. He would have won more games if he had the elite defense. Look, maybe maybe we can make the wild card with Andy Dalton. You're you're probably right. We can make the wild card with Andy Dalton, but you're not. You're close to winning a football, winning a playoff game than you are in an NFC Championship game. Okay. You're not winning a Super Bowl with Andy Dalton starting as your quarterback. Okay, Andy Dalton, future as far, is a backup quarterback. Always has been and probably always will be. We can talk all the shit about Nick Foles. We can say how old and washed up he is. He's won a Super Bowl MVP. He's been there before. Keeping him would have made... Justin Fields' job a lot more easier. So, don't get it twisted. You Bears fans that want to say that we should not start him week one because Aaron Donald might expose him. Well, there's many pass rushers we're going to face this year. Miles Garrett, Sedarius Smith, Daniel Hunter, Everson Griffin. Shall I go on? So basically what you want Justin Fields to be is another Jay Cutler. A guy that's not afraid to take hits. A guy that doesn't want to put his body on the line, even if it means tearing his ACL and ruining his career forever. I get that hit on Justin Fields' last preseason game against Buffalo was dirty. However, this is the NFL. It's make it or break it. And if I had to put my money on... When does Justin Fields come in on the Bears? I say right around halftime between the second half of 
the Rams versus the Bears game, Sunday Night Football. And it would it shock you for me to have that realistic prediction? Would it shock you, honestly? No. Because you really think Andy Dalton is going to stink up versus the Rams? If he can't do it against a backup defense in Buffalo and a backup defense in Miami, what do you think he's going to do against an elite defense with Ramsey, Aaron Donald, Butter Floyd? And the Rams defense is stacked. Like... I'll bet my I'll bet my money I'll bet you every penny in the world that we will see Justin Fields in the second half versus the Rams. Will we win? It's kind of doubtful because we're probably going to be down like twenty one points at best. But when Andy Dong gets be- benched, the better the future will will be. This boy, Justin Fields has a long trophy case in college. He's a Big Ten champion. He won the Sugar Bowl. He outplayed Trevor Lawrence, who is arguably the best quarterback in the draft class, according to everybody. He has one of the most deep accuracy passes in all of college football. And let me remind you guys that people that want to slander on Justin Fields... He's throwing to second stringers, and nobody's been ever heard of. Is the offensive line shitty? Yes. But let me remind you that Jair Ifedi is back from his injury. And we ha- we just signed Jason Peters, who is top five of healthy. And we have Larry Boom, who looked very promising during the preseason. He's going to be fine. And I know Tevin Jenkins is out for surgery, but when he gets back, it will be a lot better for Fields. Plus, even if our offensive line is mediocre, Justin Fields has shown that he can make plays with his legs. He has similar Russell Wilson instincts in him. And I know it should be, you know, a little too early to compare him to Russell Wilson, but if you look at his gameplay, it is kind of similar to Russell Wilson. You know, his speed, his agility to make something out of nothing, to escape the pocket, and scramble for yards. That's what Mahomes can, not not Mahomes, that's what Fields can do. So, at the end of the day, this is just a development year. I know there's a lot of Andy Dalton suckers that want to say, give him a chance. If he was good... If he if Andy Dalton was good, why didn't the Bengals have a playoff win by now? Why didn't the Dallas Cowboys win more games? If Andy Dalton was good, he had all those weapons. Dallas has more firepower than had more has more firepower than the Bears right now that year. Only difference was Zeke had a down regressing season. Montgomery uh, rose up, but. Robinson's, I can make an argument that Robinson's better than Amari, but that wide receiver core was stacked by far what the Bears have. We have yet to see Justin Fields play with the number ones. He is doing it in practice right now, but I'm just saying in like in a real game situation, which I'll think he does against the Titans. Will he be fine? This He might win rookie of the year. You know, he might even break the rookie touchdown record that was set by Justin Herbert himself. I guarantee you, second half of the Rams, we will see Justin Fields. Because we all know Andy Dolan. Like, even if Andy Dolan stays the starter after the Rams game, I'm not going to be like these Bears fans. I'm just going to hope... I'm just going to, you know, not root against him, not root for him to be bench. I just want what's best for the team and what's best for the business. And besides, after this year, Aaron Rodgers is hanging up the coat, and it will be Justin Fields' time. Soon.
But anyways, this is Michael coming out. As always, like, favorite, and subscribe. As always, bear down. Let me tell you all the stuff.